Hello again and welcome to a very special edition of the Southern Wesleyan University Coaches Show. It'll be the last uh, edition of the show for cross country for the year, so in a moment we'll be joined by head cross country coach Chip Rouse. But as always, we are joining you from the heart of Southern Wesleyan University Athletics here in Central South Carolina and Southern Wesleyan University. Coach, appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you for having me, Corey. Another, another end to a very exciting cross country year. Uh, just to go ahead and wrap things up, the Last little piece of business was uh, Erica Seegers and Josh Thatcher running at Nationals. Just give us a little rundown on how they performed there. We had a great trip out west. Um, neat chance for those guys that uh, Erica has been out to the Seattle, Portland area, but uh, Josh had not. And so a neat chance to get out and see some yeah. part of the country that they've not seen. Um, I think they ran okay. I was proud of them. And at, at our level, just getting there is such a huge accomplishment. Um, I think, if nothing else, the race out there left them hungry for more. I think they would both tell you, especially as 18, 19 year old freshmen, it's a little overwhelming. Yeah. I mean, you step to the line with some of the elite runners in the country and even maybe even in the world, a lot of international runners, and it's a little bit intimidating. And so I think both of them would tell you they probably did not run their best race. Uh, I think we probably ran our best race at conference to get there. Sure. Still a great experience, and hopefully, if nothing else, it left them very hungry to yeah. get back and improve upon the performance that they had. A great thing to have at the end of a freshman year going on to three more That's years right. of cross country. That's right. Uh, some recent awards given out for some scholar athletes for cross country. Tell us a little bit about those. Yep. Uh, we were fortunate to have three of our kids this year that qualified for some different scholar athlete awards. Lauren Drotty, Nick Hines, and Bryce Duncan um, were some of our upperclassmen that were qualified for these awards. You know, one of the things we talk about a lot in practice is really a three-legged stool that includes the academic piece, the spiritual piece, and the athletic piece. And so the academic side is very, very important. We tout that. We talk about it a lot. And so I'm tickled to death to see some of our kids achieving those kind of awards because it shows that that message is getting through. And it just kind of um, tells you a little bit about the team. Just a great group of kids that are really taking care of yeah. business in all three areas, not just athletically. Well, a the theme of the season has been how well a lot of these freshmen have performed. It's been a very much a team effort, but uh, surprisingly uh, effective freshmen coming in. And so going into some of the highlights, looking back on the season, I think of Erica Seegers breaking the school record. I think maybe she did it twice. She broke her own record right. again later. Uh, some of the early races, just freshmen continuing to lead. Looking back over the year, any particular moment stick out for wow. you? This is kind of hard, Corey, to kind of sure. nail it down to a couple because this has by far been the best season we've had in my five-year tenure. Um, you mentioned Erica. You know, she, she broke the school record a number of times, just was a fantastic freshman for us, so that was fantastic. Um, but the whole women's team, just as a group to run the types of times the entire team ran sure. so that we could score so well. Yeah. Finishing third at conference was a, a huge accomplishment yeah. that I didn't know if we could get to that point. Yeah. That was great. Winning a race, a couple of races this year, finishing second at USCB, just lots of things to point to on the ladies' side. On the guys' side, we talked about it in our last uh, discussion just three years ago, our fastest guys, fastest race all season was a 30.07. And we had several races this year. We had five guys under 29.50. Wow. Uh, Josh Thatcher is within a stone's throw of the school record. The guys down in the Nick Broke 28, which was a huge personal sure. record for him in his second to last race. Um, finishing fourth at the conference. Obviously a little disappointed we wanted to get third. We were so close. But, man, just so many highlights for the season. I yeah. just can't say enough about the kids and the way they bought into what we're doing and building something here. Yeah, really some special stuff happened for cross country this year. Um, for those that are leaving, uh, several uh, are graduating. Just give, toss out some of those names. And then also, uh, for, the next, for next season, uh, for new folks you're bringing in, or are you looking more for current runners to step up to new roles? A little bit of both. We lose a couple of runners. Uh, we're really going to miss Nick Hines' leadership on the men's side. Nick's really been a heart and soul kind of guy for us. Has been a steady one through three runner, depending on you know the year and where we are. We're really going to miss Nick's leadership and that type of thing. Uh, Elizabeth Cobb's a senior that's been with us for a while. Uh, we're really going to miss her on the ladies' side. But one of the things that's really exciting about what we've got is really our core nucleus, we've got pretty much everybody coming back. Mm. And so my hope is, is really twofold. Recruiting is going well. We got our first commitment from a young man in South Florida just last week. Got a several more guys and girls that I think are very close. But I also feel like we've got enough talent here now that if we can help them get better and bring in an influx of talent, 
we really put ourselves in a position to be even better next year than wow. we were this year and really kind of capitalize on some of this momentum we have going. Yeah, very exciting year for uh, Southern Wesleyan University Cross Country. Definitely stay tuned uh, to the YouTube channel and also SWAthletics.com for off-season news. Coach, congratulations on the year. Hey, Drew. thank you, Corey. It's Appreciate been a pleasure. it. pleasure. Thanks, thanks for everybody for watching. Yeah, thanks for joining us all the time on Southern Wesleyan University Coaches Show. Until next time, go Warriors.